Hey everybody, Chris with Killer Arcade Games here. Today is Monday. Mondays typically suck, so I thought I'd bring back Gameplay Mondays. Uh, first of all, let's say, where the heck am I? Um, I'm definitely somewhere new, as you might be able to tell. Yeah, I'm in the Shedcade. I'm finally making videos in here. This is the first one that should be coming from here. No, I'm not going to reveal everything yet. Um, you can kind of see some stuff behind me, but not really. The way Blitz is situated, you can't see hardly anything. It's not quite finished. I mean, everything's moved in. I've got some complaints too, but everything's moved in. Um, everything's mostly finished. I just need to finish putting stuff on the walls and decorate, you know, Martha Stewart the place up. But also I thought I'd double this video as giving my thoughts on the NFL Blitz announcement from Arcade 1UP. I'm going to actually play a game from all three Blitz titles. Blitz 1, which is running right now, Blitz 99, and Blitz 2000. So let's dive right into it. It's going to be a longer video. Ooh, that might be kind of loud. There we go. I probably should have put my name in, but oh well. So, let's start with the Blitz talk because some of you guys saw the thumbnail and you're probably here just for that. I didn't even mean to turn that on, I'm just hitting random stuff. Anyway, so Arcade went up announced that NFL Blitz is indeed coming. Um, I truly thought it would never happen. Now as of course the, you know, uh, what's it called? The rumors started popping up and the hints and stuff, I realized, okay, maybe it is coming. Then I started thinking, how on earth is this coming? Like, how could they possibly get this game out and make the NFL happy? Well, it turns out, just as I thought, there's no way there's going to be late hits. They've removed 80, or no, they have 84% of the original tackles, they said. And forgive me if I get some numbers and stuff wrong, it's kind of hard to play and remember everything I've read, which, oh, come on, which isn't all that much. Uh, I've been very busy, as you guys know, but we're almost done with the shed, so I can finally start doing normal things again and reading stuff and, you know. Uh, but... 84% of the tackles are there. Now, I question how that's possible because, especially when you get into the Blitz 2000, almost all the tackles are ultra-violent, it seems like. Uh, we're going to, once I get on the offense side, I'm or the defense side, I'm going to, look, see, that, that tackle is probably removed <laughs> when you pick them up and slam them down. So the question becomes then is, are the announcer, the announcer says things in Blitz 2000 sometimes where he's like, holy effing S, which I believe is what he's saying, but it's bleeped out. I'm pretty sure that's going to be removed too, if I'm not mistaken, because the NFL needs that squeaky, squeaky clean um, view right now, or uh, what's it called? Image, image. I am, it's the morning on Sunday, guys. I'm tired. Um, they need that squeaky queen. I can't even say it. Squeaky clean image. I'm not trying to say that again. So they probably don't want to have the announcer potentially cussing. Look at this. Let's see. This is all removed, which is unfortunate. I know people think it doesn't do anything. It's like, who cares? It's just mashing buttons at the end. I'll tell you when it does do something is when the game cheats and you're pissed off, you just want to smash the heck out of the guys. That's what it does for me. In fact, I've smashed the buttons so many times on this cabinet. I used to just go like that when I, you know, interception, a big cheating piece of crap, you know, and I'd do that. I heard a clinking noise one time. It was the screw that holds my joystick in falling out of one of the... Ooh, nice. Uh, falling out of one of the mounts. So I beat the heck out of it because I was annoyed. But now in the game, you know, you'll just have to beat it up anyway and, and nobody's going to know, I guess. Or just don't beat your game up, whatever you want to do. But, uh, you know, it felt good to just be like, oh, screw these guys and just knock out everybody that was near you. Oh, I, didn't, I picked the wrong play. I didn't really even pick it. I was just mashing buttons. Uh, another thing that's been removed from what I can tell is all midway references, which I don't really understand why. Um, if I'm not mistaken, wasn't the midway stuff in the Mortal Kombat cabinets? I mean, I've modded mine. Oh, I have this one. Yeah, it says midway on the Mortal Kombat cabinet, so I don't really understand why. I forgot to put enough credits in. Almost ended the game. I don't know why they can't get it for some games, and some games they, some games they can. Maybe it's because of who owns midway now, and maybe it's Warner, and that's why they can do Mortal Kombat, but I don't know. Um, you guys let me know in the comments if you guys know. So I've noticed that stuff's been removed. They've also wedged in their own, um, logo into the game, which it's really hypocritical for me to say, oh, don't do that, that's dumb, because they did it in Killer Instinct because stuff had to be removed also. And I have to say, I like how they did it in Killer Instinct. I think it was tastefully done. Are we going all the way, buddy? No, almost. I think it was tastefully done. It wasn't ugly. It wasn't shoehorned in. It, it kind of looked like it fit and everything, so I really didn't have a big problem with it. Of course, I would have preferred the original stuff, the Nintendo logos, but that just wasn't possible at the time. So I understand that Midway may not be possible at the time, so you have to replace some of the stuff, but, you know, I don't know how I feel about it. Um, 
It's really a, a weird, it, I took so long to make a video on it, geez. Not just because I've been busy, but just because I really wanted to think a lot about it. I've seen people make the video quickly, you know, the, the knee-jerk reaction is to make a really quick video so you can get the hits and get the views and all that stuff, and I get that, but um, anytime I've ever done that, I've never really thought too deeply about what I wanted to say about what was announced. and. Now I've, I've had time to think about it, and I gotta be honest, I'm still kind of unsure on a few things. I, that's definitely gonna be removed. <laughs> um, I do think that, oh, they're gonna kick it again, all right. Let's see if I can sack them, nope. I've only done that a few times. I do, sorry, I heard something weird on the game. I do wanna say something about the 49-way joystick thing. I don't know how that's gonna work, uh, I'd love to see, that's the thing I'm most intrigued about, to be perfectly honest with you. This cabinet is a modded cabinet I made with hap sticks. I love hap sticks and everything, and I'm genuinely surprised that they put 49 ways, because I didn't even put 49 way sticks, because they're crazy expensive. Like a hap 49 way joystick is $175 a piece. Ooh, I'm really pushing it here. Let's go with the bomb. This is going to be tough. See if I can run her in there. Oh, I'm trying again. I got time. So, Arcade 1UP, yes, must have, I'm assuming they must have gotten with a supplier. I've never seen a knockoff 49-way stick, by the way. That's what I meant to say first. Never seen a knockoff 49-way joystick. I'm assuming Arcade 1UP has gotten with whoever makes their dumpy stock joysticks that come in the cabinet and said, can you make us a 49-way or what basically just means multiple directions. Currently, all I can do is eight directions on here, and it does become a problem in rare cases. I think I've lost a game once or twice because like hey i would have gotten that if, if i could have just moved a slight direction to the right instead of like a full i don't know not 90 degrees but whatever's in between 45 degrees i guess um so it, it comes up occasionally personally i don't think anybody would have complained if they'd gone with eight way now of course there would have been the guys who make fun of arcade one up for everything and said ha ha they didn't even get uh 49 ways sticks, you know, it's like, but I, I have to applaud them for that. If they're actually good, I'm going to be blown away. I mean, truly blown away that they got 49 way joysticks that are decent. I have a feeling they're going to feel pretty cheap and pretty awful, but still, they'll probably function properly. This isn't a fighting game, or it used to be a fighting game if you, <laughs> if you count that. This isn't a game where you need precision, you know, forward, down, forward, you know, half circle, quarter circle moves, all that stuff. So... I think that they'll be okay as long as they're serviceable. All right, they're probably... Oh, God, I didn't mean to... I thought I was changing the page. It's all right. There we go. Deion Sanders. Isn't he on the side of the new cabinet? That's another thing I need to talk about. But So I can't wait to try the 49-way sticks. I, I say that I'm never going to buy the cabinet. I don't know what I'm talking about, but I'm kind of at the point now where it's like, I don't even know if I'm going to buy another arcade one up again. Oh, here comes the button mashing. Hold on. Punishment, not that that was total crap, but come on. Oh, crap, and then I messed up and hit pick the play right away. Ooh, oh, they're they're pissed now. Look at this, that was some nonsense. I was almost catching them. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm going to buy the cabinet, so I'm hoping to maybe find one on display, or maybe I know someone who gets one, which is extremely unlikely. <laughs> maybe OTG, I've never been to his house. We live in the same city, but get the... Oh, come on. That was, okay, that's the game trying to catch back up, but I can't complain, I'm pretty far ahead. Uh, yeah, but OTG lives near, not near me, but he lives reasonably close to me, and uh, I, maybe I should go by his place one day <laughs> if he gets it and ask him, can I play with your, can I play with your joystick, OTG? <laughs> that didn't sound very manly. Um, I just love, I'm so intrigued by it, I really tricked him with my Hail Mary run right there. I anticipate it feeling kind of crappy, but like I said, as long as it does what it's supposed to do, I think that's perfectly fine. Um, what else? Oh, the side art. So the side art is like... I don't think there was any reason they had to change the side art. I think they chose to change it because they wanted to make these deals with the players, and they're probably like, hey, we got these licenses to use their, their images, their likenesses. Let's just use them on the side of the cabinet. And it's like, all right, you could have just left it alone. My whole thing with, you know, like when I made my arcade one-up cabinets out of their arcade one-up cabinets, I did my best to try to keep them or try to make them look as close to the game I was trying to replicate. And yeah, you guys can laugh. You know, some some arcade one-up hate guys, you know, like to make fun of that stuff. And that's fine. I get it. 
Um, I'm not saying arcade one-ups are perfect. I'm not saying they're better than real arcades by any means. I prefer real arcades, but you know, they serve a certain portion of the population. And for me, I could not at the time, I did not have this building. I could not buy full-sized arcade cabinets. So I had to do that. And I just said, I'm going to do my best to make it look like the original cabinet. I'm trying to make it look like. So I went with Hap Sticks. That's why this deck is pretty accurate to the original Blitz Cabinets deck. I mean, I made a, I, I didn't make it or anything, but I made sure to pay extra money to get this deck to get a custom cut deck so there weren't extra holes in it, get a custom cut piece of Lexan, all that stuff. So I tried very hard. I even looked at the flyer to make sure I got the button colors correct. Now, some people might debate that. I've been trying to figure out, did the flyer not accurately represent the real cabinet? Um, but it's tough to say. So I don't know. I think that's close here with the Blitz cabinet. Now, of course, the bezel, you know, there's only so much you can do. The bezel on all my cabinets don't really look like the original thing, but oh, you cheating turd. That was total crap. The ball bounces off my guy. Oh God. If we go into overtime, this video is going to be so long because I still have to play two more full Blitz games. Eat that. You guys are going to miss those late hits. I'm not. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, you guys are definitely going to miss the late hits. Because look at this, you can dogpile this guy for cheating. This is going to be really bad, actually, I have a feeling. Get the heck out of here. Alright, so now that we talked about the art, I mean, the art's not terrible, it's just not... I, I don't know what was wrong with the generic dude on the side, but there could be a reason I'm not thinking of. Oh my god, that was close. I had a feeling they were going to take over the win on that. See, this is just too much fun. I don't know what it is about beating the heck out of everyone on the screen, but it's fun. Um, the fact that they were able to remove it concerns me a little too, because, uh, let me go, let's play some Blitz 99 now. The fact that they were able to remove it and change the resolution to 1080p, 60 frames a second, that all sounds great, but when you think about it, that means they've been toying with the game. Now they could be just upscaling it, which is very, very possible, but they may have toyed with the game a little bit. Apparently they got with Mark Turmel. I've only read this uh, on a Facebook post. I have no idea if it's true or not. The original creator of the game. This may mean they have access to the original code, which means they can change a ton of stuff. I am not putting my name in right now because the game will screw me over. Gotta go with Dallas. They were good back then. And I'm not in Dallas, but I'm, you know, not too far away, Texas. Um, I don't want to mess with these games too much. We want to keep these close to the original, if you ask me. Now, some of you guys don't care. I keep turning fog on, apparently. Big football, there we go. Um, at the same time, though, I understand they have no choice but to mess with the game in certain ways, which is fine. If you can't release it any other way, then having to change a few things, you know, remove a few things and go for it. I understand that it's either that or the game doesn't come out, the game doesn't see life again. Even if it's just seeing life in the way of like, hey, uh, you can play a slightly modified ROM of it. It still puts arcades back in people's minds. Guys that are my age who played it when they were kids in the 90s are like, hey, I, I, want, I forgot all about Blitz. I can't wait to play Blitz again. And I've personally seen a huge uptick in arcade, or arcades opening, in, especially in my area, all of Texas. We've had a huge arcades opening here. I'm going to one today in Houston. I'm making the three hour drive. We're also going to a concert, but um, I figure, hey, let's stop at Cidercade Houston, my favorite Cidercade, and we're going to go do that this afternoon before the concert. These are all things that did not exist. Uh, I mean, Cidercade Dallas, I think, existed before Arcade went up, but I have to think that some of its success, being able to expand across all of Texas, maybe outside of Texas soon, has to come from the fact that people are thinking about arcades more again. Arcade went up has to have some play in that you know they're even if they don't have uh oh i was not expecting that son of a bee um even if they don't there was a cuss word bleeped out right there even if they don't ever own an arcade one up they're probably seeing them at walmart they're like oh yeah people are playing arcades again and i miss those things let's go to an arcade so that's what i assume is happening i have to give arcade one up some credit there they, they have to have some influence on that I don't know why I always, pretty much always pick goal line because I try to sack the quarterback. Oh, I don't know how you ever block that, but that's all right. They can take that. Oh, one thing I, I do want to say that I'm a little annoyed about with the Blitz release, even though I'm not going to buy it. Um, 
I'm very annoyed about the price. How on earth did this thing come out at $5.99 when they're probably using the same hardware, sorry, I got something on my screen, the same hardware as Killer Instinct used because these are both difficult to emulate games. Um, they're using the same hardware, they're using the NFL license, they had to license the players, they had to pay out tons of money probably to get this thing to happen. And it releases at $5.99, it's a four player cabinet, there's more material. $5.99 and Killer Instinct was $6.99. I will never understand that. They could say it was because things cost more at the time, but I'm thinking, I still don't get how that's possible. I'm kind of annoyed I ever paid $600 for that Killer Instinct. Plus the controls upgrade, so I ended up paying near $700. And I already owned the real Killer Instinct arcade game at the time. I just was so curious. And I really wanted to play online. So I was like, God, I just got to buy this thing and get it over with. And anyway, I did. But I don't really regret buying it. I'm just annoyed that I paid. Oh, you son of a... Anyway, I'm just annoyed that I paid. Oh, okay. Now we're really breaking out the cheese. Um, that I paid so much for it and Blitz came out at a discount. You know, it's like, wait a minute. I would have been, I would have felt tons better paying, uh, okay, paying $5.99 for KI. It just seemed like more of a reasonable price to me, but it is what it is, you know. Boom! Knocked him out in midair. Look at that. Keep tackling him. They cheated anyway. Oh, I didn't realize they were, it's already that time. So hard to keep track of everything when I'm talking. So I think we've pretty much covered my thoughts on Blitz. Ultimately, just a, what the? See guys, you're gonna miss these late hits. Oh God, I'm gonna beat the hell out of these guys every time. Just destroy them. Uh, the summary I would say is, it sucks they had to remove stuff, you know, but at least it's coming out because there's those guys who are never gonna make their own Blitz cabinet. They don't know how, they don't feel confident enough even though I've made a very detailed video on how to mod an arcade one-up cabinet with all the links. Oh my God, that was awful, you're getting hit. With all the links and everything you need right in the description, I'll try to remember to link that below. And you can just easily do it yourself, but... What the heck is going I'm gonna throw this cabinet out the door and maybe somebody can just come buy it for me now. I'm kidding. Um, but there's those guys who will just never do it. They don't have the confidence, they think they're gonna screw it up, just never gonna do it, and that's fine. Yeah, this is a huge play. Let's get a little closer. Let me get, okay, I jumped out of bounds so I can at least get the uh, field goal. So it's cool it's coming out for that reason alone. And the game will live on now and be in the minds of people again. And who knows, maybe Midway, and not Midway, maybe Raw Thrills will get with the NFL and say, let's make a new Blitz game. I don't know that I would like that game all that much. I don't really like new arcade games that much outside of racing games. But it'd be cool to see it happen. You know, just anything that furthers the idea of like, Oh my God, arcades making a comeback, I'm all for. Um, from what I can tell, people seem to prefer the old arcade games, even young kids. If you gave them, I bet if you sat them in a Hydro Thunder or a San Francisco Rush, like I've got next to me here, and let them play those, I bet they'd come to those eventually more than they would come to like, um, and nothing against Cruisin' Blast, but I think that they would come to those games more because eventually you realize these games are more about skill than they are about just being on a ride, basically. I look at, as good as Cruisin' Blast is, I kind of look at it as a ride. It doesn't seem to matter how many boosts you build up, you know, every time, if you put your name in on the cabinet, you can start getting perks, like you can add an extra Nitro boost. I played at a free play arcade the other day where they had Cruisin' Blast and so many people played it throughout the day that it never got to think the person left the game, so it built up to where it had like 40 Nitros in the game. It was insane, and it made no difference. I mashed that button, I had boost the entire race, and I still barely beat the other players who didn't have that amount of boost, who were noobs and didn't even use the boost. They didn't even know it was there as little kids, you know? So anyway, those games are not so much about the skill, more about just kind of like the experience, the ride. It's like a motionless ride, if you ask me. Still a decent game, I have no problems with it, but these are like, hey, you gotta have skill to get first place on Rush the Rock. Like, you're not getting first place. It might let you get first place once. After that, you're not getting it again. You have to work really hard. So, my belief is the young crowds actually want to be challenged, and they feel that they are being challenged by these older games. I think that they're probably more popular in the long run. So hopefully it'll start making 
arcades make some kind of comeback to where you can go back to a skill-based thing. You know, not I'm not talking redemption games, I'm just saying skill-based is in the more you play it, the better you get. Not the more you play it, the you just kind of play it. It's very weird. It's hard to explain. I can probably do a whole topic on that, but... So, now that that's out of the way, buy Blitz if you want Blitz. Uh, you're just going to be missing out on things. That's just how it is. And unfortunately, it seems like Arcade 1-Up's having to do that a lot. But moving on. Um, so let's talk about the Shed Cade. <laughs> oh, boy. This, first of all, I'm going to say I'm shooting to have the reveal out next weekend with a live stream following it. So, oh, that would have... Oh, I forgot. I think I'm supposed... To, yeah, no, it's not next weekend. Anyway. <laughs> So I'm shooting to have it out next weekend with a live stream. That dude was falling and he catches the ball. I want to replay. Anyway, um, have, hopefully to have it out and I can then stream right after. We can hang out in here, play some games. I want to talk about, you know, this has been, I jokingly said I was going to name the building Nothing Easy. Like, you know, you name a boat, just put it out on the outside, Nothing Easy. Every single time we were like, oh, this will be easy, me and my neighbor. Now, my neighbor's, a, you know, he's in the construction world, you know, he, he's an electrician, he's building new buildings. He's like, don't say that, Chris. I'm like, why? Just don't say it. I'm like, okay, all right. And sure enough, he's right every darn time. Nothing was easy with building this thing. Um, but we were done. The building is essentially done. There's a few minor things that need to be done outside, like uh, you know, landscaping. I'm going to wait until it's cool outside and do it then. Um, but I'm sitting in an air-conditioned space with all of my arcade games in here, full-size included. I have a complaint or two about those in just a minute. And it's done. Like, it, it feels bizarre that I'm in here doing this. Uh, I won't lie, it feels, if I'm being completely honest, it feels strangely lonely in here. Because at least when I was inside before, my wife was downstairs. She was in her craft room next to mine. I don't know. It just feels weird. I'm, like, isolated in my little building out back. I hate your guts. Cheat and turn. I was turboing. This guy must have had like infinite turbo. Oh, now they're gonna cheat again. Here we go. This is the cheaterest move I've ever seen. Okay, good. A lot of times they make you fumble when they do that. I am not going in overtime, guys. We don't have time for it. So I will kick this ball if I have to. But yeah, it feels a little lonely. I'll get used to it. I think it's just because I'm not used to being in a new space outdoors. It's just weird. I'm disconnected from the house. My cat isn't out here. These are all weird, really weird problems that are not really a problem. I'll just get used to it. But let's talk about the soft opening of the shed cade, as I called it. And a good thing I called it that, because things did not go smoothly. So on Friday night, we were pretty much done. I was almost all the way moved in, except for the decorations on the walls. I'm going to stand up real quick, because I am tired of uh, sitting right now. Okay. Sorry about my nasty shirt. I am in my lazy clothes right now. So Friday night, I said, I told my neighbor, hey, bring the wife over. She's never seen it. I don't think she'd ever seen it, at least. I'm completely guessing here. Um, so she came over to see it. We played games. I had everything on when they came in, all the arcade games. And he's like, hey, is this the grand opening? And I, We're going to Blitz 2000 now, by the way. And I was like, no, we better call it the soft opening, which, <laughs> as a joke, you know, I'm not opening the place, but excuse me. Um... Good thing I called it that, because we had Hydro Thunder, which I've had problems with the monitor in the past. The, uh, we replaced the flyback because the original one was just not good. Like, the screen, the image would take a good 30 minutes to really start looking decent. And, um, I gotta switch to Blitz 2000 there. And we replaced it with a flyback off eBay. Uh, JoJo the Wicked Arcade came over and did it for me, because I don't know what the heck I'm doing. Ooh, that's loud. And he came over and did it for me, and uh, about, I want to say it ran maybe 10 hours after that, you know, over a period of a couple days. I was in the garage, thankfully, playing Killer Instinct, and I look over, and I'm like, why is the monitor off on Hydro Thunder? So I went and looked at it, and I smell smoke. I was like, this is probably not good. So, sure enough, the flyback had melted and started oozing the guts of the flyback out of it. That was not cool, so I unplugged it, and I was like, holy crap, and I told JoJo, and he's like, oh, really? Okay. And then he sent me screenshots of people who are buying the same flyback having the same problem. I was like, all right, cool. Well, the problem is COVID screwed up the supply chain or whatever, and we couldn't get the good flybacks, so I told the eBay seller, he's like, oh, I'll send you another one. 
I'm like, well, hopefully that was just a fluke, right? Eh. Turns out it was not. Uh, and I, I, didn't, I just knew something didn't seem right about it, so I hardly turned the cabinet on. I was like, I'll only turn it on when I'm gonna play it. That was a good pass. I'll only turn it on when I'm gonna play it, which was very rarely because it was so hot and I was in the garage. Ooh, that was bad. It was so hot and I was in the garage and I would just turn it on when it rained so I could actually you know, not have it be so hot in there. And I'd play like two or three races, the image on the screen would wiggle and I was like, okay, something's not good here still. This flyback probably sucks too. So I ordered a cap kit and I finally was able to just randomly find one of the good flybacks. So I got the good flyback. Oh, and around that time I started building this building and told Jojo, I was like, dude, don't even worry about coming over. Uh, it's too hot for one to even want to, that was a bad throw. Uh, too hot to even want to do it. And I just said, let's wait. You know, like we actually scheduled, I think sometime, but we both got busy or whatever. And I was like, just forget it. We'll wait till we're in the shed and then you can come install it in air conditioning and you don't have to worry about sweating in my garage. I always felt bad about that. And so now that it's in here, I was like, you know what? I have the replacement parts. I'm going to run the cabinet on the soft opening. And every time I ran it, I was like watching it. Cause I was thinking, please don't catch fire. I don't have, I just bought a fire extinguisher. It finally got here yesterday. Not in time for the problems I had. Uh, and I also put a, there, well, you can't see it, but on the ceiling, there is a Wi-Fi enabled smoke detector. So it'll alert my phone if there's ever smoke in here. Cause I'm, I'm never gonna hear it. I'm in the house or I'm gone. Like that way I'll know and I can call somebody. Uh, but anyway, we're running it. Everyone's having a good time. To my surprise, I'm gonna give you a spoiler. You guys know I have my drums in here. Um, I play a lot of rock band drums, like to the point where it's ridiculous. I have a crazy overpowered or crazy ridiculous drum kit for it. It's actually a real drum, uh, electronic drum kit that I connect to the Xbox using an adapter. I am screwed, this is bad. So everybody, to my surprise, was like, I wanna play rock band, I wanna try your drums. They saw me play it and they're like, let's do it. So we're all playing rock band, or I'm doing a song for them. And I, at that point, I'm like, I can't remember if I noticed it or, or who noticed it, but somebody was like, I smell smoke. I was like, son of a, and I look at Hydro Thunder, the game's on, the screen's off, and sure enough, the flyback's smoking inside the cabinet. So luckily it wasn't gonna catch fire. I don't think it's just like melting and oozing and all that. So I turned it off, I was like, son of a, you know, I was like, well, whatever. I knew it was gonna happen. I have the replacement parts handy. I'll just have Jojo come by whenever he can. We continue the night. <laughs> and then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go play some Rush the Rock while they play drums. I sit down, I'm looking at the screen. Like the screen looks a little washed out for some reason. It, oh, you just got sacked. Anyway. Screen looks washed out for some reason. I was like, well, maybe I just need to adjust it. It probably warmed up. You know, I never run it very long. And this is like the first time I'm running it for a long period. So I, I adjust the brightness, turn it down a little bit. I mean, they, the flyback brightness is where you can adjust it too, but I figured I'll just adjust it inside. I leave the game. Uh, I was like, well, that was fun. I don't know what I was doing there. Um, I walk away and go help them with the thing. And again, I'm like, I don't, I think this time I noticed it. I was like, what is going on over there? And I looked at the screen on high, or Rush the Rock and see a squiggly green line across the middle. It didn't look good. I was like, oh, this is bad. I go over there and check it out. I smell smoke. It's that same, uh, it had the same dumpy flyback in it that seemed to work fine, but apparently it didn't. It did the exact same thing. So now I'm pissed. I'm like, man, I'm trying to reveal this arcade to you guys. The whole point of building the thing was to put my full-sized arcades in here. And now two of them are gonna be down when I show the reveal, which I'm ooh, very disappointed about. Uh, we might be able to get Hydro Thunder working before the reveal, but I don't know, I've got, I've got very limited time. Decapitated him. That's not gonna be in the game, you can guarantee that. Um, okay, I'm at fourth quarter. I gotta tie this, I think. God. Oh, that was horrible, but at least I made it. Um, so now I'm gonna have two games down likely when, when I do the reveal, which sucks. Uh, it did not go super well. And we actually, I don't think we had problems with the air conditioning. I don't want to say that. I think it was just, I couldn't figure out the right temperature to set it on. Everybody was drumming. So, you know, you get hot drumming and moving around like that. And there was four people in here, all the games running. The unit, oh, 
The unit is probably overpowered for the space. I, I, we knew that going in. My AC guys were like, you got four exposed walls, you got three windows, you've got a floor that is totally exposed. There's no, ins oh, what am I doing? No insulation between the floor and the outside. It's literally just a, I think a three quarter inch piece of wood. So it was like, go with a higher powered unit for the space. That way it balances out. Um, I had it on like 69 and I thought it was cool, pretty cool in here, but they were, some of them were like, it's hot. And I'm like, all right, whatever. So I got to work all that out. It was a stressful, it was a fun night, but it was stressful, especially when my game started breaking and I was like, God, ah. But the good news is I checked the flyback site where we're trying to get the good ones from. He says he's probably gonna have stock on Monday, which is today when you're watching this, let's hope he's right. I'm gonna be checking that site like crazy, trying to order a flyback for Rush. And I've made the decision now, uh, this is gonna be such a long episode. I'm sorry guys, hopefully you've made it this far. I've made the decision now that I'm going to try new flybacks, but if they fail again, like if this problem happens again, I'm done. I'm, with the racing games at least, I'm putting LCDs in, I hate to do that. I know you real arcade guys watching this are probably cringing, but if it were my killer instinct, no, I'd keep fighting to make sure I had a good CRT in there, but these two games were newer games. They're 97 and I think 98 or 99. And they're newer games that run essentially on almost like PC hardware, especially, ooh, especially Hydro Thunder. And they look fine when you put them on an LCD. And now I see why so many arcades do go that route because it's just a pain to keep them running that long. Ooh, this is a rough game. But I'm gonna give them one more try. Because the Hydro Thunder monitor looks great. I'm not going to lie. That thing looks amazing. Oh, wow. I can't believe I caught that. Um, it looks amazing. So hopefully the new flyback, the good flyback in the cap kit can fix that for me. Um, if not, it's just... I, I'm done spending money on it. I'll just put, you know, a converter card in there and put an LCD screen. I hate to do it. Believe me, I want these to be as original as possible, but... If that's the case, then I, I've just, I'm done worrying about it. That way I can just keep moving forward and, oh my God, this is a brutal game. But yeah, that's where I'm at. I'm kicking this thing to try to keep it tied. That was terrible, terrible. And I think they're on fire now because of it. So when you do see the Shedcade reveal, you may see two games down and I apologize. It's just, it's the realities of having arcade games. I am probably losing this game, I feel like. You guys are gonna miss the late hits. I've said it 20 times and I mean it. And by the way, are these girls gonna be in there or do they have to remove that? And I totally forgot something. Are they gonna have to remove, they're gonna have to remove some of the attract mode. There's a video showing real players. I don't know if they have to remove that. Showing extremely rough hits on those videos. So I don't think that it's gonna look very good for them. I think the attract mode is gonna be heavily edited. Maybe they're gonna put a new video in. I don't know. It bothers me tremendously, but again, I fully get why they had to do it, and it's very hard to knock them for it. It's out of their hands, you know? It's like, do you want the game to come out or not, you know? And they're going to kick it again and put them way ahead. Miss it, you turd! Darn. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. Um, by the way, if my lighting looks weird on me right now, I'm still trying to work out. I've never recorded in here. And there's a light in the ceiling right above my big dumb head. So I've got the shades open right here to give me some light on my face so I don't look like I'm... Uh, ooh! Catch that ball. Stiff him. Stiff him! Okay. So I don't look like... Uh, you guys know on... You might know this. On Seinfeld, the episode where he's like, she's a Two-Face, where he sees her in different light. And he's like, huh! You know? <laughs> That's what I feel like right now. Ooh. This is tough. I'm taking the free point and I'm going to stop them, hopefully. Speared! I'll bet that tackle will remain, but I don't know how half of these will be there. I don't know how they got 84% of the original tackles in here. I love it. Oh, he just said, that guy's a total spaz or something. And if you've been paying attention to any pop culture news, Lizzo had to remove spaz from <laughs> her song because it upset... I'm going to be in trouble probably for even saying this. It upset certain people. I never would have thought of that as being a problem. They're not kicking that ball. You better drop this dude. Boom! Um, so is Spaz gonna be removed? Like, how far is this gonna go? You know the NFL does not want trouble right now. The NFL is just like, please leave me alone, let me make a ton of money. 
That's, that's how you do it. The game really turned around. Now I'm going for the extra two points. I don't think that'll be a problem. I doubt they'll run a... Oh, crap. Ooh, got it. So now the game's pretty much guaranteed over. I hope. Nothing's ever over in Blitz. Um, so what else are they going to have to remove? You guys let me know in the comments. Is there stuff I'm missing that you think may have to be removed? Are you guys going to really miss any of this stuff? Let me know. Oh, no. Oh, come on. Yeah, I knew they would at least make sure he wasn't... He's going to at least get a kick. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'm going to try to start wrapping this up now. Crap. Boom. One. This was a long video. Holy crap. Well, I hope it brightened up your Monday, uh, or at least distracted you from being a Monday. I actually took today off as you're watching this. I'm hopefully at the lake right now and on my jet skis. Uh, we're coming home late from Houston. Probably get home at 2 in the morning, but I'm going to try to sleep in a little bit and go jet ski and... I haven't gone to the lake in an, over a month, which is rare for me in summer. I never go that long in summer unless something's wrong. But I'm finally freed up. Like, I don't have as much to do in here anymore. And I can finally get back to normal stuff. So the wife and I are going to go enjoy that. You know what? I feel like it's Joe Montana. Montana. Anyway, how's was wrong? So, yeah. Hopefully you're having a good Monday. Hopefully I'm having a good Monday. And let me know what you guys think of the Blitz stuff. Um... I don't know what on earth to think about it, ultimately. Uh, I think I've kind of got my thoughts out right here. I wish I had a more definitive, yeah, you should buy it, or no, you shouldn't buy it. Um, but it's just, you're going to have to decide for yourself. If you don't mind the late hits being missing, you're basically getting a neutered version of Blitz, and if you don't mind that, then go for it. Have a good time. Who am I to, t to say it's wrong, you know? All right, guys. If you enjoyed this video, this super long Gameplay Mondays, give it a thumbs up. And uh, leave me a comment about Blitz. And also, let me know. Hopefully, you're excited to see the Shedcade. Uh, you guys kind of saw a tiny portion of it today. And I will hopefully have the reveal out by the weekend. And I can't wait to stream in here. Let's hope everything goes smoothly. I've had some internet problems in here. I'm still trying to work that out. But that's not your problem. You probably won't have to hear about it. Hopefully, it'll be fixed by the stream. And until next time, guys, subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.